episode 1086, Everything Beautiful in Its Time. Moms, needing a little inspiration and a ray of hope? You've come to the right place. This is the show that you can turn to for just the pick-me-up you need. This is Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. Here's your host, certified life coach, personal trainer, and nutritionist, Christiane Wargo. Staring at a stop sign, watching people try Happy, happy day. It is the last day of 2017. Radio. Celebrate it. You made it. And today, we're going to talk about everything beautiful in its time. For those of you who are brand new to Create Your Now, welcome to this incredible family. I'm so delighted of your presence. If you already haven't had the opportunity, you'll want to head on over to createyournow.com where you can learn more and to sign up for the Kisses newsletter, the Keep It Simple Strategy Everyday Solutions to Live, Love, and Impact. Well, yes, today is the last day of the year. Are you doing anything differently than the day before? Maybe you've got a few extra sweet treats laying around and you're going to light a few firecrackers to end the year off big and to start the new year even bigger. But you know, you got to realize that God has made everything beautiful in its time. This episode is always a hard one to create and to write and figure out all the thoughts that I want to put in. Because when you look at a year, 365 days, A lot can happen in a year. And today, being reflection, being the Sabbath, maybe you went to church this morning or you're on your way there now. Maybe you're cooking lunch and you've got me in your earbuds or you're working out. Maybe two days have already passed and you're already into 2018. But when you look back and reflect on what happened last year, where does it bring you? Does it bring you to your knees? Does it make you happy? Does it make you joyful? Or does it bring you to your knees and you're just filled with pain and sorrow from the loss, from the challenges? There's been so many devastations this year, natural disasters, murders, terrorist attacks, unspeakable things that honestly, I wish we didn't even have to talk about or even think about, or dream that it was even possible. But if we look back over time, hundreds and hundreds and thousands and thousands of years ago, our world has progressed. And with each new day, brings a new opportunity. He has made everything beautiful in its time. Now, your time, maybe you really don't want to comprehend it as days equal to how God sees your days. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. So take a deep breath. Where does God have you today? How has God challenged you? Has God made you mad this year? Oh, that's a tough question. Maybe he has. Maybe you didn't really get to start that business because you had to take care of a car issue. Finances weren't there. Maybe there was a blessing like an unexpected pregnancy. Yes, you love your child, but you're like, that didn't fit into my calendar. It was not part of the plan. God does make us mad sometimes. He doesn't mean to. Because remember, his design is perfect. But the way we see it is from our earthly logic. It's our earthly mind, not his heavenly mind. And so, yeah, I know I've gotten mad at God. And that's not unusual. When we get mad at him, he feels like he's part of the family. Think about your family. Do you get mad at your family? You do. I know you do. But you love them even more. There's something about it when you are brought together and you can have all of these emotions in your life. God does that. He challenges us. Has God made you mad this year? Maybe even cry buckets of tears. Ecclesiastes 3.11 says this, he has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the hearts of men, yet they cannot fathom what God has done from beginning to end. We don't get the bigger picture. If you could remove yourself 
and go high to the heavens and look down and see how everything fits together, how the world is connected, fitting all these little puzzle pieces together. You see, that's what God sees. He always has the bigger picture. He has made everything beautiful in its time. But yeah, we kind of get a little irritated, don't we? We want things our way, in our timing. Sometimes that comes with pain and hurt. We make the wrong decisions. But during these times, he still takes it and he makes everything beautiful. Absolutely everything. Sometimes we don't see it. I get it. I've been there. And I think, how are you going to resurrect this day? How are you going to turn this moment, Lord, in my life to gold? What is it that I'm supposed to be learning? However, what's really sad is that when we go about our days and we don't ask or include God in our days, we think we have all the answers, but we don't. So today, rejoice in all the blessings, the challenges that grow you, the mistakes that heal you, the love that protects you. Some moments we can feel very alone and isolated. No one understands me. I just want to be by myself. No one has been where I've walked. God has. And the good news is that he's been with you for 365 days. Every single day, every single moment. The problem is, are you letting him in? 2 Corinthians 5.17 says this, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. This is the last day of the year, but it's the beginning of a new day. So with the old comes the new. He has made everything beautiful in its time. We don't have to sit here and try and figure it all out because God already has. He gives you a new day every single time you open your eyes. It is a new day. You are his new creation. When you have accepted him and you say, I am willing to walk with you. And I know my walk is nowhere perfect. I get mad, I get angry, not just at God, but at the world, at life, and my husband and my children. I had a discussion with my son. He was truly making a bad decision. For those of you who have been following me, you know he had a motorcycle accident. And now, we're barely six months past his accident which was a miraculous saving by God that he did not die from what happened. He's talking about buying a motorcycle. Now, how do you think that makes me feel as a mom? Yeah, I don't think that would make you feel really good. Inside, torn apart. The outside, trying to hold it together so my son sees a loving mother who wants him to make the right decisions, yet I also need to be able to groom him to make the tough decisions, the decisions that sometimes we have to say no to temptation. No, because we want it so badly. God has made everything beautiful in its time. I don't have it all right. I don't have it all figured out. But what we do know is that today is a new day. You are a new creation. You have a new year around the corner, another 365 days to work with. How cool is that? It's a blessing. It's an honor. It's a privilege that you get to go out and live, love, and impact. So as you sit and reflect on last year, The steps you took. Oh, maybe the stumbles too. The things you would have done differently. 
Rejoice in all the blessings, the challenges, the mistakes, the love. You are ringing in the new year as a new you. God washes away your past and creates in you the now. Your present preparing each step for your future. He has made everything beautiful in its time. What were those beautiful times for you? What were the things that you absolutely loved about this past year? Reflect on all of them. Challenge yourself. Dig deep. Don't just think on the surface. Here at Create Your Now, when you want to live, love, and impact, you got to go deeper. And it's not just about, oh, a coffee and a donut every single day. It's about what the ingredients are in that donut and in that coffee. You see, that's where, how you need to look at your day. Those blessings, good, bad, or ugly, all of those little sprinkles, they're ingredients to what? Grooming you to your heavenly new you. There is a purpose for you here on earth. And it doesn't end at the end of the day when you put your head on the pillow. Because God creates in you a new day. A new you. Every single time you open your eyes. So reflect on those blessings. Be grateful for what was and what is to come. He has made everything beautiful in its time. Just go look in the mirror. He made you. I love you so very much. I cannot wait to see you on the other side. Blessings, hugs, and many, many, many loves. And I just got to tell you, Happy New Year. Let's do this year right together. Let's begin to make some incredible changes. Because God's on your side. He's got you. And you know what? Let's carry that belief torch together. I love you. Happy New Year. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye. Feeling inspired, ready to train for life, and love your journey? Visit createyournow.com for more incredible resources to help you along the way. We'll see you next time on Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. And remember, always be sure you consult your physician before beginning any health and fitness plan.